In 2009, Justice Sonia Sotomayor was sworn in as the first woman of color, first Hispanic, and first Latina member of the Supreme Court of the United States. Nearly two decades earlier, in 1992, Samuel Alba was sworn in as the first Latino federal judge in Utah's history. Hispanic and Latino Utahns only make up 3% of Utah's legal profession, less than a quarter of the overall Hispanic and Latino population in Utah, but they are fearless trailblazers. My name is Sam Alba, and I am currently a senior partner at the law firm of Snow Christensen and Martineau. I'm Haiti Achikar. I grew up in New York, in the Bronx. Uh, I did most of my school out here in Utah and have stayed here and have loved it. I practice mainly in immigration law and personal injury. My name is Steven Arroyo. I'm a first year associate at a firm in Salt Lake, Richards Brandt Miller Nelson, um, doing primarily litigation right now. My name is Simone Cantarero. I am a corporate attorney. I'm originally from El Salvador, immigrated here, and have lived in Utah for the past 20 years. Well, I chose to become a lawyer and then a judge because I understood from my family background that I needed to get an education to help change my family circumstances. Um, my mom is an enrolled member of the Saginaw Chippewa Indian tribe. My father is Mexican American, and both of them grew up in an environment that was poor with material things, but rich in culture and work ethic. My parents were immigrants from Mexico. Half of my siblings were born in Mexico. I was one of them. I was the oldest boy in the family. And when we first moved into the United States, my family traveled around the West as migrant farm workers. We did work out on the fields. We tried to follow the crops wherever they took us. But it was a real question on whether we were going to make it out of high school. The path to becoming a lawyer may seem daunting and riddled with challenges, but never underestimate yourself. I was not doing well in high school. This is ninth grade and um, I mentioned that I was learning English and I was, uh, I finished the English as a second language class and so on that had to be integrated into all the classes and I was not doing well with my grades. I'm an immigrant to this country, right? And so uh, there I felt like I was, and, and I also feel like I had an education. I didn't have the best education before university. The challenges started from the beginning, right? I didn't have the right study skills for law school. I didn't have, I didn't have the right background. I didn't have, you know, a ton of money to just, you know, go to law school and, and, and do whatever I wanted after. There have been a ton of challenges from the beginning. And in my career, right, we face challenges as women. We face challenges as, as people of color. I mean, there's a lot that th this, this career is still pretty, uh, there's, there's not a lot of representation. So you run into all the challenges that come with that. I think the easiest thing for somebody from a marginalized background is to find a mentor and someone they trust who they can freely ask these sorts of questions. Um, a lot of questions I had were answered by mentors I, um, I gained through participating in the Utah Minority Bar Association and attending those socials and those programs. Um, I could ask these people with confidence, well, what are they talking about when they say this word? Or what does this mean? Or what should I ask employers during interviews? Um, and when there's that trust relationship, I think it's a lot easier to communicate those things. As challenging as it is, you can do it. And I says, if I can make it, you can make it. The advice that I would give you is dream big and dream in detail because you just might get it, right? And what I would say is understand and appreciate that it's not gonna be given to you. You're gonna have to go work hard for it. And with a lot of hard work, a little bit of luck and some helping hands, and there will be helping hands. You're going to get there if you really want it. And most importantly, I would say, when you get to where you're going, don't forget to reach your hand back and help pull people forward. Obtaining a legal degree is difficult, but not impossible, and we are here to help. Visit us at utahcli.org. Your presence in the legal field is more important than ever before.